Welcome back, guys. Shield of Respect, or Bryce, uh, whichever you prefer. Bryce on the Shield of Respect, doesn't really matter. Next part of the FTL is beginning right now, and I'm glad you made it. Um, our crew count, Alec, Clark, Jill, Shelton. Um, everyone seems in good condition, except our hull is pretty low integrity. Um, at any point, the ship could explode, but we do have two shields and 20% of aid, so that's pretty great. Uh, burst laser two, burst laser one. We're going to jump to the next sector, which we will go to Engi Controlled. NG, whatever. I'm going to call him Engi or NG. I don't care. You have arrived in Engi Space. NG Space, whatever. The fall of the Federation has brought tough times for these robotic life forms, but they're usually willing to help. That's good because we will need help right off the bat. We could go to a distress beacon, which may be our death, so we will do it. Someone might need help. Hopefully it's just like a dialogue thing. Maybe they can fix our hull while we're here. Um, a ship without life forms within a nearby dense asteroid field is giving off a, discre a distress call. Uh, shall we investigate? It could be dangerous. Nearby dense asteroid field? Asteroid field? As much as I do want to help, I do don't want to die and I feel like if we take damage our ship will explode we're gonna go for it no we're not we're gonna go for it you find a pirate ship damaged and abandoned you salvage what you can and move on okay oh I just gambled our lives right there I'm so sorry everyone <laughs> I just I gambled your lives and I apologize for it <laughs> we just need this hull fix so bad you receive a wideband message, free schematic samples. Be sure to visit our new military-grade drone store opening in sector XR145. 16 dollops and a system repair drone. Oh, okay. Um, I don't think we have drone control, so we can't really do anything with that. And we are still on the run. Remember that. You arrive just in time to see an unusually well-armed... NG ship destroying a small pirate craft. A teleporter signal is detected. Intruder on deck? A young mantis a young mantis in a charred uniform has teleported onto the deck. He begs for sanctuary from the from the Engi and offers a, offers to serve in exchange for your protection. The NG have already traced the teleporter signal and are offering to de a deal in exchange for the prisoner. Side with the fugitive and fight the NG ship. Uh, agree to offer up the mantis in his... I can't offer up the mantis. We're gonna fight. Oh, God! It was a trap. The mantis sabotages your ship before teleporting away. Really? Oh, my God. I'm too nice. Okay, we are at three health. Um, I can't see what weapons they have. We're probably about to die. It was an honor serving with you all. No one can... No one go fix that door control. Oh, my God. They're so well armed. Um. Yes! Hit them. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, um. Shelton, go fix those doors. Okay, okay, okay. We're messing them up. And we can actually see inside of their ship now because we got, um, uh, not door control, but we have, uh, the increased whatever whatevers. Uh, someone shoot at their, that thing. I want that done. Sheldon, how long does it take you to freaking fix something, man? Jesus. Okay, we blew up a thing. We're being shot at. Taking fire. I don't know if they can actually damage us. Okay, hold on. Turn off auto fire for a second. I thought I said turn off auto fire. Oh, okay. Hold on. I want both of you to shoot at his shields is the thing and at the same time too so wait hold on stop give it a second give me a second okay here we go that one that one okay great awesome turn auto fire back on and the second one could shoot at that mantis are slower at fixing things significantly than than any other race so that's a fun fact that you know now boom Get messed. This looks bad. <laughs> this is not something fun. Oh, God. I don't feel good. 
during this entire fight. No, he's gonna stun our shields. Don't worry, he can only stun one shield. See, yeah, he can only stun one shield, and that can only burst one shield. I think we're fine. I think we just have to wear him down. It's on fire. Free of charge. See you later. I tried to help. 33 scrap. Oh my gosh. Another distress? Give me a second, man. Oh my god. So many people are in distress. We, we might want another shield. Or. We could do that and then that. And buy another power bar for later. How about that? Huh? How about that? Yeah, we're going to do that. Don't know why. Uh, that doesn't really help. Now, when we finally get to a story, we won't be able to help. Another distress beacon. If we get hit three times, we're done. Okay, you arrive at the distress beacon uh, near a small asteroid belt and uh, find a ship with pirate markings partially crushed between the two large rocks. It must have been legitimately mining... Er, legitimately. <laughs> no. It must have been illegally mining the belt without proper equipment. Try to dislodge. Uh, we're going to use the beam muffin to carefully cut the ship out. Uh, you use your beam to make a few precision cuts in the asteroid. The ship gives a quick burst of thrust and the rock crumbles away. They thank you and offer some of the resources they have collected. Thank you so much for being nice. I'm so glad that you didn't kill us, actually. I'm very glad. Local sensors pick up two ships engaged in heated battle. It seems the Mantis military ship will surely defeat its prey. We have to stay out of it. The noise of the FTL spinning up almost drowns out the explosions. <laughs> almost. We have to stay out of it, and we have to hit this store. And we need to not die today. Not today. The message arrives. Your scrap, ours, our weapons for you. You're about to raise the shields when you realize it's just an NG trader looking for a trade. <laughs> okay. Uh, Zaz, Chris Phillips, my fan. <laughs> what? Okay. Give me all of the heals. We're gonna sell the system repair, this pike beam, go back, and then heal some more. I just don't want to blow up. I'm so, okay. I'm. So, you guys don't know how glad I am to fix the ship a little bit. I've never been that low on health. A pirate ship was lying in wait inside the asteroid field and immediately moves into attack. We have to turn and fight. Um, it's got three shields. Oh, no. Okay, this is why the asteroid belt will help. And it's got, a, like, a breach missile and a freaking thingy thing. Um, I just took down its shield significantly. We're taking fire. It's okay. We're taking legitimate fire from the fire. Okay, yep. We accept your offer. I literally do not know what happened during that battle. All I'm doing is looking at this right here. Come on. There's no oxygen in there. How can you spread? How can you spread? There's no oxygen. Yeah, get out of there. Jeez. Okay, and then when you, when you open these up, uh, it puts the oxygen from the other rooms in there. Uh, we can have Clark fix that. No problemo. Ugh. Open all doors. If you click this once, it opens all the doors inside the ship. If you click it twice, I think it opens all the doors outside, too. So you can immediately, like, jettison everything in the ship out into deep space. Uh, Alright, we're gonna jump to the distress, this thing, then the exit. We're gonna see what's up with this distress. You find a number of ships fleeing from a small space station. You hail them asking what's wrong. Help! We're being overrun by some sort of giant alien spiders! S send crew to help. Giant alien spiders are no joke, or leave them alone. Dude, giant alien spiders are no joke! I don't want to send the whole crew down, though. What would Alec do? Captain Alec. Alec would send the crew to help, because giant alien spiders are no joke. No! Your crew boards the station. Cautiously moving between corridors, suddenly a man-sized arachnid bursts from a vent in the ceiling, followed by countless more. You fight your way back to the airlock and are forced to leave before counting, accounting for all crew members. Not everybody made it back. Jill is gone. <sighs> Damn it. Okay, Shelton. 
No one else is good on weapons. We need another crew member. Can we hit the store, this thing? Ah, uh, no, that's kind of sketch. We're, no, that's too sketchy. I don't think we'll make it. Here, here, here. I don't think we'll make it, but we're going to go to the store. Hopefully they have someone that'll work for $20. Uh, an NG ship hails engine upgrades necessary for travel home. Sale of equipment necessary for engine upgrade. Uh, no, they have people that are expensive. People are expensive nowadays. <laughs> Flak 1. Flak gun 1. Fires a blast of uh, debris across a random area, doing up to 3 damage, good at taking down shields, but hard to aim. Oh, cool. Charge laser. Um, yeah, there's nothing I can really do. We can fix all. We're gonna fix all. Okay. Jump. To here. And then we're gonna try to get to the exit. You come across an asteroid mining colony. They message you immediately saying, Greetings, our supplies of mining explosives have run out ever since the rebels blockaded the system. Do you have any extra explosives? Um, give them the requested five missiles. I'm going to give them 15 missiles. Wow, this will help our efforts considerably. They offer to have their engineers fix up your ship and upgrade your reactor. Oh, I'm sorry. Wow, this will help our efforts considerably. Um, okay, they upgraded our reactor by one, and we don't use missiles, so I'm not going to be missing those. Oh, sweet. Free reactor upgrade? That's actually really good. Um, going to head to the exit before we get snagged by these bad dudes. You arrive at a long-range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. There are a number of privately owned ships construction platforms in the area you find one that has a slot open for some immediate work inquire about their specialty they offer to upgrade your pilot subsystem in exchange for some scrap i have to decline uh you thank them but prepare to move on mm, that sucks okay our next sector can only be this abandoned sector so we're gonna see what the abandoned sector has to offer um on the next episode this one's a little bit significantly shorter it's like five minutes shorter than all the other ones uh i think the better mood I'm in, uh, the faster I make it through these, so that's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty great. Uh, so yeah, um, I was Bryce, this was the Shield of Respect, thank you guys for stopping by again, uh, and I will see you next time you visit the channel, hopefully. Alright, that's it. Remember to like and subscribe if you like the video, and subscribe if you, if you want to see more, blah blah blah. Okay, I'll see you guys next time, thank you for watching, bye bye.